Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I've been trying to find some ways to build budget decks that wouldn't be all out aggro and Paladin being the strongest class seems like the most prominent candidate for doing something like that. I already tried to build the aggro Paladin shell to be a little bit slower but that didn't really work out, the faster shell was simply better. However, there's also more Paladin decks that are seeing play right now. Well, Nessot decks obviously are a bit out of reach because of Nessot itself, but I did build this budget Libram Paladin. In order to make budget Libram Paladin work, I had to put in two epic cards. Libram of Hope is just so good, it's so central to what this deck is doing that it couldn't be left out. But other than that, this is a little bit slower way to play Paladin. So you have all these Librams, you have Librams of Hope, those big taunt minions healing, Librams of Wisdom that you can play repeatedly, there's one Penflinger in the deck, you can play some Librams of Wisdom and Penflinger, you gain board control. You have all the tools to discount the Librams, you have all the Tendons, you have all the Truth Seekers, Librams can be multipurpose, there's Libram of Justice for some board clears, there's Libram of Judgment which can heal you and deliver some damage. So this is basically a mid-range deck where you just keep playing stuff, bigger and bigger stuff, and overwhelm the opponent. With the small twist of Libra of Wisdom, once it's free especially with the discounts, being able to make any kind of tokens that you have, just bigger threats, and then you can play Libra of Wisdom on a token, trade it off, play it on another one, trade it off, play it on another one, just get a lot of damage going like that. The deck could be improved, of course, the full cost version of this deck is actually pretty good right now, but that takes some more expensive cards, but this can be a starting point where you can then move over and build when your collection grows. So first there's Omayog. Omayog is incredibly powerful right now. I would cut the Avengers and put in two copies of Omayog into this deck as the first upgrade that I would do. This just makes your secret package so much stronger. And then I would cut one of the Librams of Justice, one Libram of Justice is fine, and put in Lady Liadrin instead of that one. Some versions of the list top out at Lady Liadrin, they don't use Alexstrasza at all, but Alexstrasza is pretty sweet, so I kind of like using them both. That also makes Talon a little bit more consistent. Finally, you can also cut one copy of Galloping Savior, and you can cut one copy of Libram of Judgment to put in some other tools. The okay. standard version of this deck runs played Master Samuro and Carrier Rome has 4 drops. There are currently no 4 drops, so if you own neither of those, you could also consider running like Kazakus in this deck. And if you happen to have a Hammer of the Naru, you could also consider cutting one Libram of Judgment so that you could run one Libram of Judgment and one Hammer of the Naru in the deck. Those expensive cards would just give the deck a lot more power. But it is already playable in this form. Although I do think that the, the more straightforward aggro version of Paladin is stronger on a budget than this one, but this is definitely something that you can use to climb. And this has the upside of being updatable more easily to a full meta deck. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're looking for your Sword of the Fallen, just an incredibly good card to ring out those secrets. Alder Attendant, getting those Librum discounts up, and first day of school immense value, giving you minions to play for many turns to come. Now, let's go take a look at Budget Libram Paladin in action, and if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. No, it wasn't. I didn't have enough mana. I actually didn't have enough mana. There was no lethal. No worries. Because I needed to do a second pen flinger, right? How much health did the... the I can't remember how much health did the minion have. Maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe it wasn't enough. Probably need to try to do Reckoning Nordwatch Commander on the same turn. Maybe I need to set up Reckoning this turn so that I could Nordwatch Commander on 3. Now that was... nah. I'm just playing a little sloppy now. 3, 6. And I had Penflinger plus... Yeah, I was one off. I was one off with... Uh, yeah, one off. But I will need the I will need the reckoning to kill that minion. I will need the reckoning to kill the goody. Goody kills the one four, but then it dies. I will find another secret at some point. I might even top deck one immediately, and then I could do secret and not wish commander. So this might even turn out better by going wide than it would have been with the secret and not wish commander in the other order. Just this way we get rid of the goodie. 
They don't have a secret either. Oh, and now I have this. We'll fight back these brutes. Beautiful. These are all going to the dome here. I don't think setting that to tree held is useful because they probably have buffs for it. If they have a buff, then they kill my old watch commander. If they don't, then they kill one of the other minions. I'm looking for a few good but they have the Kasagos too. And the power of Kasagos is just so it's just so much. It's so hard to contest. They have just everything everything expensive is so good now. And everything good is so expensive. Rarity wise I mean. This is not what we stood for. Okay, Cyrus here, but these have to go into the face. And then, what is the golem? A good golem here. Copying, rushing, maybe. It would be insane. Oh. That's insane, too. Gets me a truth seeker though. That's not bad, I really need to discount on my Librams. Okay. They are playing a Libram list too. I thought they weren't because they were playing goody. Oh, that can hurt then. That can hurt a lot. This is not what we stood for. I'll have to kill that and then I need to use the Libram. Just the Libram here, like this. I can't even bonk them hard enough because they have two Librams of Hope in that deck. Oh dear. Oh dear. They can't save those minions without the hand of a doll. Now they can't kill everything. Because of the galloping savior. So good. They don't have a secret out there. They could have some Librams of Judgment of their own. But, and they could have Librams of Hope, but I mean, I have to try. I have to push in now. If they don't have a Librams of Hope, they have one Libram discount, so they can they have exactly enough they have exactly enough to play a Libram of Hope. And if they have that, they probably win. But if they don't have it. They don't have it. Because they would have played the Libram of Hope on their face if they had one. So we get one more turn. They can have an Oh My Yog. Oh, they can definitely have an Oma Yoke there. We'll see about the tree cost spell. I can just Alex this. They don't run Noble Sacrifice in this deck anymore. They won't, don't run Noble Sacrifice in the deck anymore. So I could just win. Alright. Time for some random stuff. Like they just introduced a core set. 
they were like, hey, we're giving cards away. Except that we're not. What can you say, what can you say to that? Chris could have a whole the smite. His theory is always a threat. Why not? After all, why shouldn't I draw more spells? And set up a galloping savior. <laughs> okay, what did I? Take care. Create some tension. Uncertainty. We will feed on this world. Alright. That's not too bad. Unless they have more good stuff coming. The zero cost inside is pretty good. They have some discounts there. I'll have to play the Librams here. I believe. And kill the Nasmani. Alright. Have you dealt with from Virgo just a few epics? No legendary rules for this one. There are two epics, then there's nothing else. Everything else is free. All these, these are free cards. Reckoning is a free card. Libram of Hope is the only only epic that's a real epic. Everything else is free. So no, I have not... Well, I have put in two epics. I occasionally put in two epics when I really, really have to. Although Truthseeker is just playing straight into Hysteria. So I can play Battle Fiend. As long as I heal that up. And I can use the sword. So now Hysteria does not clear this board. And I have an Avenge there. I've already seen one Holy Smite. Okay, reasonably powerful. Three, four, five, six, seven. That also enables me to play Psychic Conjurer. Would I play the Alder Truth Seeker? I would rather play the Truth Seeker, yes. Get a Reckoning. I can do this, then I can have an Archer that one down. I can play a Truth Seeker, and I can get 6 to the face. And this board doesn't die to a Hysteria. But obviously Blade Master. Reckoning prevents the Blade Master from activating its Frenzy effect, right? I believe it does. But the OC is still unfortunate. Because that was 7 healing. Eleven damage here. Eleven damage isn't enough to kill the priest. Libram of Hope. Healing this up. The A date hysteria would clear the board. I cannot prevent the hysteria board clear anymore. I can push 16 damage this turn, but that still leaves them at 8. Let's see what the Conjurer gives me. Powered Fortitude. Plus 3, plus 5. Yeah, we're going for that one. We're going for that one. This one doesn't die to a Hysteria now, so that would need to be more than a Hysteria. So Mirror's not bad. Obviously Soul Mirror's never bad. 
but it's not quite enough now, is it? Because I can just bonk that and kill the priest. Patao. Got them. Let's see what we can do here. This is a good opener. Because I'm going first. So as long as I have a one drop. I can do Hand of Adal. Next unless they coin the sword I guess. And they did keep everything. Hi <laughs> Buckens. Well, yeah, I've done a lot of a lot of nice budget things. Even in this expansion. Oh, that Benflinger though. That was tough. Didn't see that coming at all. Oh boy, what a turn. That turn was crazy. Now I need to set this up so that I can have Nordwatch Commander next turn. But they're not going to have a turn like that again. Now they spent the coin, they spent so many resources there. They're just not going to play three cards again anytime soon. So I'm definitely on the back foot now. I didn't expect Paladin to be able to do that, but sometimes they are. Need an old wish commander. But they can have just like Hand of Adal on the Alder would be crazy. And they kept everything, so they have the nuts. So they have Hand of Adal. There's no doubt that they have Hand of Adal there. Yeah, this is just too much. Can't beat the nuts. Can't beat the nuts. Well, we keep fighting, but it's incredibly unlikely that I could succeed. Galloping Savior is a small upside though, because they have a lot of cheap cards. They might even be tempted to play three cards. Hello. But that in turn will give me the three full taunt. Okay. Second hand of a doll would be some of the craziest stuff you can imagine. Now they can't play a third card, but their hand is full, they have to play a third card. Now I think that first day of school probably... That probably messed things up for them. I don't think they're in such a great spot anymore. I can't get rid of everything here, though. For I can kill that one. I get a Reckoning, but that's not going to be so good, right? I can get a Hand of Adal over here. Actually, I'm going to kill that one. And buff up this one. Use it to kill that one. So single pen flinger hit cannot kill a minion from this board now. Reckoning is not the secret I needed though. It's better to have the Libram on the taunt, because the taunt is kind of the one that is probably going to die first. And that will free the Libram for me to play again. That's a pretty pretty sweet top deck. But they will be able to just pen flinger this one away. I need to accept that. No secrets so far, and that's good. So this one goes there. I will set up this avenge so that this will pull a galloping savior for me. That one goes face. They now have four discounts on the Librams though. 
So there are these these four cards can be Librams. Penflinger will be used to kill the 6-1. You Penflinger the 6-1 first and then you play your Liberum of Hope, right? Possibly. Getting the Avenge buff is nice. But they could also have a Liberum of Justice. And they do. Ouch, that, that one hurts. Do they have more Librams for the Penflinger? It seems that they do. But I get the Galloping Savior. So it's not all bad. Now that could be an Omayog. Do I still need to throw a Libra of Wisdom into an Omayog? It's possible. Revenge. What if it's a galloping savior? This is not what we stood for. The Impromisistone is fine against the galloping savior now. Worse against Oh My Yog. It's neither. Oh, it's Avenger, it's Reckoning. What if it's Reckoning? I still think I need to hit into the minion. It's Avenge. Okay. That's fine, we get the secret out of the way. And now I know there's no Omayog at the moment. That doesn't mean there couldn't be an Omayog in the future. Tough game. They have to be worried about all my yoke too, so it might prevent them from doing doing Libram of Hope. This is not what we stood for. That's going to draw Liadrin for them, isn't it? I believe it will. Another secret ouch. What is it gonna be? What if it's Galloping Savior? I need to drop the Avenge into the Oh My Yog, right? I believe so, yes. This goes into the potential Oh My Yog. It was the Oh My Yog? Okay. What happens with my one cost spell? What did it turn into? Ah, Deadly Poison, but I didn't have a weapon. Tough. That's okay. I can buff this up a little so I get the kill there. While keeping my stuff. But they now have Liadrin. And the Liadrin value is going to be so immense. Especially once they get some Librams of Hope going. I have to hope that they don't have another secret here. Another Omayog would be devastating. Libra of Hope is probably devastating too because of the Liadrin that they have in hand. Oh no, not with the life steal. Oh no, with the life steal, it's so good. It's so good with the life steal. But I want to get rid of the pen flinger here. The sword will allow me to do that. I have no more secrets in the deck though. Just need to play Libra of Hope this turn. I need to get rid of that pen flinger. This probably is a Libra of Hope turn, right? Wisdom on that one. So I kill the battle fiend. And Sleeper of Hope on my own face. Drop the Wisdom on that. Four cards. One of them is a Liadrin. One is a card that they kept in the Mulligan, but they haven't played for nine for eight turns. 
which seems kind of nonsensical. But who knows? I've seen one Libra of Justice. They found the Liberance of Wisdom. Now Liadrim becomes even scarier. Can't go in with that now. And they have the life steal with the weapon. I can actually, I can kill that with the Penflinger this turn. And I will. I know that may compromise my Penflinger, but. I want to get rid of that now, and push that 9 to the dome. Okay. They have Liadrin, do they have a Liberum of Hope? Liberum of Hope takes them to 23 and gets them the big taunt. They didn't find a Liberum of Hope. They didn't find a Libra of Hope. It's a win! Phew! Against the Libra Paladin who did a full keep. But they didn't find a Libra of Hope. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.